Now, we will evaluate the swing limits of this amplifier. What I have shown here is a common source amplifier with source feedback biasing. Okay. The swing limits depend on the total quantities. That is, when the total drain source voltage becomes smaller than total gate source voltage minus the threshold voltage, it enters triode region. Similarly, when the total drain current becomes 0, it enters cutoff. Okay. So, first thing we have to do is to evaluate the total quantities in this. That is, the operating point plus the incremental values. Okay. I have shown the full picture here. What I will do first is to write down the operating point values. Okay. The operating point values are VGS will be 3 volts, VDS will be 4 volts, because this node here, I will assume that R 2 by R 1 plus R 2 is 4 by 15. So, this will be at 4 volts, this will be at 5 volts, because this 200 microamperes flows through 50 kilo ohms to give a drop of 10 volts. So, 15 minus 10 is 5 volts over here and because 200 microamperes current requires a 3 volt uh, gate source voltage of the, in this MOS transistor, the source will be at 1 volt. Okay. So, V G S is 3 volts and V D S is 4 volts at the operating point. Okay. And the drain current I D, this is 200 microamperes. So, I D is 200 microamperes. Now, what about the incremental quantities? We can write down the incremental picture and evaluate. Like we discussed at the very beginning of the course, the usefulness of the incremental uh, picture is to calculate only the increments and then we add it to the operating point to get the total. Okay. V i is here. I will assume that all capacitors are large enough for them to behave like short circuits and we have R 1 parallel R 2. Since the input source has no internal resistance, this plays no role at all, and we have the transistor VGS with the source shorted to ground in the incremental picture. We have GM VGS and RD and RL. Okay. In the incremental picture, the source is at zero volts. That is, the incremental source voltage is zero, which means that the source voltage does not change at all. At the operating point, it was at 1 volt, the increment is 0, so it will remain at 1 volt. The incremental gate voltage is V i and the incremental drain voltage is minus G m R d parallel R l times V i. Okay? And of course, the incremental drain current I d is nothing but G m times V G S. Okay. Let me refer to the operating point quantities as V G S 0 and V D S 0 and I D 0 and the incremental quantities will be V G S equals V i, because at the gate you have V i, at the source you have 0. Okay. And V D S equals minus G m R D parallel R L times V i, and in this particular case, it is minus G m at this operating point is 200 micro Siemens times R D parallel R L is 25 kilo ohms and this will be minus 5, okay? which will be minus 5 V i and the incremental drain current is G m V i or 200 micro Siemens times V i. Okay? 
Now, to get the total quantities, what we have to do is to add the operating point to the incremental quantities. Okay. VGS total is VGS 0 plus V i in this particular circuit, which is 3 volts plus V i and V d s total is V d s 0 minus G m R d parallel R l times V i, which is 4 volts minus 5 V i and the total drain current is I d 0 plus G m V i, which is 200 micro amperes plus 200 micro siemens times V i. Okay. So, now that we have the total quantities of V g s, V d s and I d, this means that whatever the variation of V i is, at every instant we know V g s and V d s. So, we can calculate when it enters tryout region or when it enters cut off and so on. Okay. First, let us look at the limit imposed by the tryout region. Okay. Now, the transistor remains in saturation if V d s is greater than V g s minus V t and otherwise if V d s becomes less than V g s minus V t, it enters tryout region. Now, to evaluate this limit, we just have to substitute the total quantities in here. Okay. So, for it to remain in saturation, V d s total which is V d s 0 minus minus G m R d parallel R l times V i should be greater than or equal to V g s total which is V g s 0 plus V i minus the threshold voltage. By rearranging this inequality, we get V i should be less than V d s 0 minus V g s 0 plus V t divided by 1 plus G m R d parallel R l. Okay. So, this is the limit. As long as V i is less than this, the transistor will be in saturation region. Okay. Okay. Now, intuitively it is clear why the transistor may enter tryout region. It happens when the gate swings positive, that is when V i is positive, the gate voltage increases beyond its quiescent voltage and as the gate voltage increases, the drain current increases and as the drain current which is being pulled this way increases, the drain voltage will fall down. It is also obvious from the incremental gain of the common source amplifier which is negative, which means that when V i is positive, the increment here will be negative. So, as the gate goes up, the drain comes down. So, you can see that it is kind of moving towards triode region. Okay. Now, why does this limit make sense? First of all, what is this V d s 0 minus V g s 0? It is the separation between drain and gate in quiescent condition, that is at the operating point. At the operating point, this is at V d s 0 and this is at V g s 0. Okay. So, let us say V d s 0 is over there. I indicate these levels and V g s 0 is over there. So, the larger the separation you start with, the larger the limit will be for V i, because then there is lot more room to go. Right? The gate voltage has to increase and drain voltage has to reduce until it enters triode region. So, if you start with a big separation between drain and gate, the limit will be larger. And then there is plus V t, because 
the drain can go below the gate voltage, but not by more than 1 V T. So, we have an additional V T. And in the denominator, we have gain G m times R d parallel R L also plus 1. Why do we get this? We are first of all evaluating the limit on the input. So, if the gate voltage goes up by 1 unit, the drain voltage falls down by gain units. And if you look at the separation between the two, the gate has gone up by 1 unit, the drain has fallen by gain units. So, the separation between the two has actually decreased by 1 plus gain units. Okay, So, this goes up a little, this falls down a lot. So, you have 1 plus gain in the denominator. Okay, So, this expression does make sense and to increase this uh, swing limit because of this driver region condition, you have to operate with a large V D G that is large separation between drain and gate in the quiescent condition. The drain should be biased sufficiently above the gate, so that it is very far from the triode region. So, then you get a very large swing limit. Okay?